guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. I am so excited because the outdoor collaboration, you guys said hooray, 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 and I showed you all those DIYs that I did um, to make that a success for me and my home, which were the pillows as well as the pictures. And now for my favorite part, the outdoor living space desk, which turned into a kitchen island. Here it is. Here's the picture. I'm so excited to show you how I created this. That's right. Someone who never used a drill, finally using a drill about a year or so ago, and now can't put a drill down. So let's go to work. This is the desk. This is how it looked when I got it. It was not clean. The gentleman stored it in his backyard. He gave me a choice of two of them. I chose this one. And um, again, it was in his backyard being rained on and everything else from all the elements. Um, the legs of it were actually very muddy and dirty. And But, you know, I just saw a cute little desk on a picture on my phone and I thought that has possibilities. Plus, I wanted to do an outdoor kitchen cart and and I had checked around to several places and some of the prices blew me away. Take a look at this. At Target, these two cards were $143.99. And this one was $295. Now, I also received mailers for Bed Bath & Beyond. And in one of those mailers, I saw this card for $399 and the other $307.99. You might as well say 308. Now, whenever I look at these, I kept seeing that child's desk in my mind. Do you not see a conversion about to happen? Well, that's what happened. Now the previous owner also mentioned to me that the reason why the veneer top was in such great condition was simply because it was covered with two coats of contact paper. Yup. That preserved the top while storing it outside in the rain. I guess you could say it was underneath an umbrella. So we removed the drawers and we found that there was a center brace which helps to guide the drawer inside and out and keep it in place. And then we found that there was a cardboard liner underneath the drawer. I guess it's to keep things from falling from one drawer into the next. Well, that literally disintegrated right in my hand. So I just simply ripped that all out. I turned the desk upside down to see if there was any structural damage that I may not have been aware of. I removed all of the panels. I also removed all of those brackets once I was sure that it was going to be stable and then continued to clean it. Now, you want good assistance at a hardware store? Just take your furniture with you. I loaded up my desk and I headed into Lowe's, went up and down the lumber aisles until I found the perfect thing. Picket fence, a dollar and 58 cents per picket, if you wanna say, and it fit just fine. I had it cut there, measured out, and I got a little extra bonus. They did a little special measuring and cutting for me. Come on, a woman wheeling in a desk up and down the aisles, almost knocking things down. Yeah, I got all the help I needed. Picket fence boards, they are rough, so you are going to have to sand them. And don't sand them too much because you really don't want to take away that treatment that's on the surface. But all in all, it makes a great selection if you are going to do small projects like this one. The cost of the boards were $1.25 each. I purchased three of them. They were on sale, so that was a huge savings as well. They are the perfect fit. Look along the sides right here. That custom cut paid off for me, and everything is just wonderful. Now this is the same paint that I use to put the border around my rug and to paint that small table. It is the Eggshell White HGTV and it was only $4.98 and it's a really large container. I want to say it's about 31 ounces, but it got the job done with multiple coats. Once my paint was dry, I finished it with the Krylon Clear Glaze. I did not use polyurethane because I was using eggshell white and the polyurethane would simply cause it to yellow. Okay, this is where I am starting to get really nervous about this project. I've got the right boards and everything seems to be going my way. But here it comes. What 
kind of caster wheels are you going to get to go on this thing? Every place I shopped, they were too big and the base of the legs were super narrow. So I decided to just start looking around the house again and on my patio, I had this actual planter base with wheels on it. I turned it over and decided to take the wheels off and recycle them. Well, I had to do a check first. I put the clamps onto the legs and then I drilled the hole just the size of the actual insert for those caster wheels. It worked out beautifully. I added this brush chrome knob to the very front as well as the handle for the dish towel on the side. I purchased those at Lowe's. Now the actual vintage bottle opener, I purchased it to my surprise at Books A Million. I am so excited with the result of this actual card. A $30 investment, $3.75 basically for the boards. And then you've got your hardware on it and including your paint. $30 for something that could have cost $100 or more is absolutely amazing. So when you see these children's carts or these children's desks that are at Goodwill or any of your thrift stores, think twice about passing them up because the versatility or the things that they can become in your home is absolutely amazing. I hope you have enjoyed the view today. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up. Share your comments with me. By the way, three drawers came with this desk and you know never know what I'm going to be doing with those. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the view and remember stay in prayer and stay creative.